Hello and welcome. This is going to be a Skyrim modding tutorial on how to convert Old Rim mods, Skyrim Legendary Edition, over to Special Edition. Um, disclaimer, not every mod can be converted, but a good majority of them can. And it's quite easy and probably much simpler than you'd think. Um, I have two examples for us that are going to go over the two different ways that mods need to be converted. Um, one is flipping a little switch in the ESP file, um, converting it from the old form to the new form, and two is going to be optimizing the meshes and textures for Skyrim Special Edition. And we have uh, a tool for each. Um, so I'm using Mod Organizer 2 here. Um, I can't speak for, you know, uh modding your Skyrim folder directly, Nexus Mod Manager, Vortex. Uh, I've always used Mod Organizer 2, um, and that's what we're going to do here. But regardless of how you install your mods, the process is really going to be the same. Um, so you need two things. You need Creation Kit, and you need a nifty little program called Cathedral Assets Optimizer. Um, I have two examples here. I have a quality world map, which, if you open up Mod Organizer here, lets us know that this is a Form 43 plugin, which is made for Skyrim Special Edition and has not been properly ported. To or this was made for Skyrim Legendary Edition and hasn't properly been ported to Special Edition, so this could result in parts of the mod not working correctly. Um, so Creation Kit, where do you get it? Well, that's easy. Head over to your favorite web browser, uh, hopefully not uh, Internet Explorer, and you're going to type in Bethesda Launcher. Hit enter. It should take you to the Bethesda Launcher. This is the official Bethesda site, and you're going to hit download for free. I've already got it installed, so you're going to get it downloaded, you're going to install it, and then you're going to open the launcher. Um, so assuming you have the launcher open right here, all you got to do is hit Games, and you'll hit Skyrim Creation Kit. Obviously, I've got mine installed already, um, and this assumes you've got Skyrim already installed. You've played with it. You know, it's registered in your registry. Um, it's automatically going to detect where Skyrim's installed, and you're just going to go ahead and hit Install, and then um, you can open it from here, but I'm using Mod Organizer 2, so i got to open it from within Mod Organizer. Um, yeah. So once that's installed, you're going to head to... your web browser and you're going to look for SSE creation kit fixes <clears throat> head to the files tab don't have to worry about the second file you're going to grab the first file let it download open that up head to where your game folder is mine is in a special location so this is going to look a little different but you can see here this is where Skyrim is installed and this is also where the creation kit is installed thanks to Bethesda launcher you'll grab all these and you'll move them over now, I've already got this done, so I'm not going to worry about it. Once you've got that done, you'll either, if you're doing a, a, a manual installation where you're installing these mods directly to your mods folder, you're going to open the creation kit for within the Skyrim folder. Um, if you're using Mod Organizer 2, you'll head over to Mod Organizer 2, and in your drop down here, um, if you just install Creation Kit, you'll have to close Mod Organizer 2, open it back up, and it's automatically going to be here. So, Creation Kit is what we use for plugins, such as a quality world map. So, we're going to open up the Creation Kit. The first time you open it, it may say something about, hey, uh, scripts.zip hasn't been unpacked yet. Go ahead and let it unpack. It takes, you know, 5 to 20 minutes, but just let it do it. It's going to make your life a lot easier. Um, so, we hit File, Data. We find our plugin that needs to be converted. In this case, um, a quality world map is actually called Ice Penguin World Map. And you can use a nifty little search bar here to search for ice. And you see it right here. So, this is very important. Double click to activate it, and then set as active file. Make sure that it's got a check mark, and you see active file. Then hit OK. 
Let the creation kit load. Uh, your mileage may vary depending on your system. Generally doesn't take very long, especially for, you know, a small ESP like a quality world map. So let it build its references. Boom. Now it's as simple as file, save, close. That's it. You'll see the error is gone. The ESP file has been successfully converted. Now, like I said before, not every mod is going to be this smooth. Um, but for the most part, the vast majority of mods can be converted over. You know, if they got a relatively small file size, they're not entirely convoluted. They don't have a, you know, a bunch of ESPs, you'll be fine. So that's great. My second option here is a median born book of silence, unique items. Now, this has actually been ported over to SE, but, you know, there was a time when it wasn't. Um, this doesn't add an ESP, it just adds meshes and textures. Now, um, these may work, you know, out the gate, but there's usually just, just a few different issues, especially with the mesh files. Um, so we have a handy tool for that called Cathedral Assets Optimizer. Um, if you're using Mod Organizer 2, you do have to close it to run Cathedral. Um, but yeah, so you're going to go to your web browser, type in Cathedral Assets Optimizer. Go ahead, grab it from the Nexus. Hit Files. Download. Download. Got to make sure you have this. So if you don't have this, go ahead and grab it. It's a Visual C++ for Windows. You'll open this and install it to any folder that you like. I've already got it installed to my Tools folder within Mod Organizer 2 right here. But you would just create a folder, call it whatever you want, and then drag these over. Um, Go ahead and open it, and you're going to search for the specific mod directory. Um, so if you're doing a manual install, you're going to want to unzip the mod that needs to be converted into its own folder outside of Skyrim so that you can run Cathedral Assets Optimizer just on the mod's meshes and textures. Within Mod Organizer 2, it's a little bit simpler because Mod Organizer 2 installs every mod into its own folder. So you'll open your directory if you're using Mod Organizer 2. You'll find the mod. In this case, it was called a Median Born Content Add-on. Or uh, Unique Items, my bad. So there it is right there. Select. Make sure you have your profile here, SSE. And go ahead and hit Run. And it's a relatively uh, simple process. There is a lot more to Cathedral Assets Optimizer. There's a lot more you can do with it. Um, you know, in uh, there's sometimes this will this will have thousands of files on it, um, and it'll tell you each each thing that it did. So in this case, it didn't actually find anything that needed to be altered, but if there was, it will take care of it automatically. So you can uh, hit the X and then open up Mod Organizer Two. And now you will have quality world map, which has already been converted. No more warning message. And then you'll have your old dream textures all ready to go for a special edition. So yeah, um, if you found this video helpful, uh, go, go ahead, drop a like, consider subscribing. I'm going to be pushing a lot of different tutorials for Skyrim, Skyrim modding, mod organizer, uh, Windows 10. Um, just, you know, keep an eye out in the future. Appreciate you stopping by and we'll see you next time.